better get your sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yo, don't hate the player, hate the game. Today is Monday. You already know, you just gotta close the door like that. Today is Monday, so you already know what that means. It's another Monday Madness. And today, what are we doing? We're gonna be making some screens for some screen printing. Graphics on the screens, screens with the graphics. 20 by 24, 110 mesh screen, a wooden frame, 20 by 24. So, the way that we make screens out here at forevercrusaders.com, if you haven't looked at the website, I double dog dare you to go do it. It's down below. We use capillary film instead of emulsion because out here the capillary film just works better in my environment. The one thing that we do different with the capillary film is we're opening up the graphics on my computer. The one thing that we do differently than uh, just putting screen, the emulsion on the screen like you normally do, and the capillary film if you don't know, basically emulsion on sheets. You do the same thing that if you were the emulsion, but without the liquid emulsion, the emulsion's on the sheets. So that's why it's called capillary film, and it comes in something like this. I don't even burn transparencies for these graphics what are we gonna do you say oh but you need the transparencies to burn on the screen you do but with this method right here we're using the good old cameo cutter because if you didn't know now you know we're gonna let you know right now you can totally take the capillary film run it through your vinyl cutter it don't matter what kind of vinyl cutter you have you can use a cameo you can use whatever whatever brand you have i i dare you to try this you could cut the you could you put the settings on the capillary you actually you use a capillary film but you cut it out like you're doing uh htv a uh, vinyl but it's on the capillary and then you spray the screen and you wet it down and you do the exact same steps if you're cutting a vinyl stencil out but you're doing it on emulsion it's different but it works i did some tests did some tests the other day made a whole video i didn't even upload it because it just was a disaster there you go look at that we got an orange light instead of a red light but it still works as a dark room watching this what, what do you mean it comes in, you know, what I was saying earlier, it comes in this box, comes in the sheets, and it looks exactly like emulsion on sheets. And we got two graphics we're doing today, and then I could just leave it in the drying cabinet forever long, and then we can screen print some other time. Here's the capillary film. It's basically like I was telling you, if you don't know, you should know now, I just told you, it's emulsion on sheets. And the way that you cut it out, you cut it on the back part and then you weed it out just like vinyl. So as the computer's warming up, graphics are warming up, we're gonna let, we're gonna put these in the vinyl cutter and cut them out. We got two really cool graphics. I've been working on them yesterday and today. I made one today and I finished one. I actually I started one yesterday and I finished it, finished it today and I did a other another one while waiting and it turned out fantastic. West Coast with the Illuminati sign, the diamond and the skull because that's what i'm into and we got the northwest fresh we're going to do this one first because i like both of them but i want to i want to do this one just to get you know warmed up and get this going separately so film in the vinyl cutter we're in there like swimwear and that's when you tell people there's so many different ways of putting graphics on t-shirts don't hate the player hate the game
graphic out exactly like vinyl. It's the easiest thing. So if you haven't tried it, try it. And now we're gonna put it on the screen. And putting it on the screen is easier than putting the emulsion, the scoop coater and all that stuff. And you gotta do all this stuff and you gotta make sure that it's the right thickness on one side and the right thickness on the other side. These is always at 40, I forget, 40 neutrons or something. I forget what it's called, but it's always at the 40 thickness. Thickness of 40 at all times with the capillary film. So if you're ever in trouble getting your ratio right with your emulsion, try the capillary film. I dare you. First thing is first, I don't have a good spot to do my screens yet, so I just do them on the ground. I'm gonna take a bottle of water and say, make sure that it's spraying out. Spray that ball of water on the back of your screen. It's a little light, a couple of mists. Half of 20 is 10, and then I'm gonna put this in the middle of your, and then I do three inches down. So you wanna put this in the middle of the screen, or as close as you can get it. make sure that it's on there good like this okay you want to do it like that and then you want to spray it down one more time and squeegee it off make sure that it's wet because when it's all wet that film gets sucked into the Boom, get sucked right in there, like so. And then you wanna take your squeegee and squeegee it off and put it in your drying cabinet. To squeegee that extra water off. All right, turn the regular lights on because we got a minute. But this is already, this is, man, this is the best thing I've, I've found on the internet. Scouring the internet and figuring out you could cut this capillary film with your vinyl cutter and use transparencies. If you need to use transparencies, because most of my designs I realized I could cut out with vinyl. Like this one right here, I cut this one out with vinyl a long time ago, but I could still, all right, there we go. Five minutes is done. That's perfect. There's a little spots that I could cut. As I, I noticed that I did this regular way. I didn't do it the backwards way to do transparency. So we have to um, print this on t-shirts the regular way. But that doesn't bother me at all. It actually looks really good. Yeah, shooting it on the uh, exposure unit gives it a different feel too. On the, the back of the, the capillary film. Gives it a different feeling like it's hard. Sick. I got one more to do, but I gotta adjust the design a little bit. So if you wanna watch that one, uh, I double dog dare to scribe and we're out here every Monday and Friday and every day in between. So keep a lookout. <laughs> 